Hey Collective, hope you guys are doing really well. Alright guys, getting ready to do a collective reading. I do apologize about the delay. I was actually on a flight um, well, to actually to South Carolina on Saturday. I was looking at some property there, but anyway, I did plan on doing it last night, but I didn't get in until later, so I was just, I was pretty tired. A lot of traveling for two days. But anyway, I wanted to get you guys a collective reading. This, of course, is going to be a general reading. Angel of Families popped out. The angels surrounded both you and your family at this moment. Okay, that's a pretty card. Uh, this will be a general collective reading as always, guys. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? And if you look, if you need more information, always look to your specific placements in your chart, specifically your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for the lovely collective tonight? Goddess of Compassion. It says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. Wow. Is this happening? We have to make sure that we always talk to ourselves in a in a good nature, right? Lovingly, compassionately. Because it starts to really, we start to believe what we tell ourselves, right? That's why it's so important to do that. Always speak positively to yourself, whoever this applies to, okay? This is always serious to me, okay? Because I see a lot of people get beaten down in life by their own stuff or by stuff that other people are doing. So you do have control over what you do. Um, please make sure that you are paying special attention to that. Say loving things to yourself, even if they feel wrong initially, because maybe you're at a low point, just keep saying it until it feels right. And then angel of families. Let me look at that one. Both you and your family. Maybe somebody's having a situation at home. Maybe you're going through something when it comes to you, when it comes to your family. Somebody could be losing somebody is what I just heard. That's interesting. Yeah, somebody could actually be losing somebody. Or it could be a time when someone's leaving home where there's just some family issues. Okay, some of this is going to be monetary as well. Okay, or legal. Wow, a lot of stuff coming in very quickly here. Um, some things that are actually surrounding the family loss. So something about loss keeps coming up. I'm not sure what that's about. This could be loss of anything, I guess, loss of a person, maybe an animal, loss of a house, something along those lines. It says angel of psycho psychic ability. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. Beautiful. Make sure that you're tuning into those, getting your downloads and um, yeah, paying special attention to that. Write them down too. I mean, especially if you're new to that. Obviously, if you feel like you're getting intuition, if you're getting things, just start jotting them down. That'll just make it stronger. You can also check for confirmation afterwards, which is great. That'll strengthen your abilities. And then Goddess of the Earth, an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. Okay, so somebody might be starting something new. You may have, or maybe you will be. It says an idea, okay? Something's going to come to your mind or be brought to your attention. It looks like something that may help you um, to create something, to be more creative. It may be to just to create something. Um, it could be create a business, a passion project, something that will actually help you and your family. A lot of emphasis here. I don't know why I keep going back to the family card, but I do. So... I know that it, it must have some kind of significance for some of you guys here. This is what I feel intuitively, okay? Like there is just, I feel a lot of worry. Maybe there's a lot of worry around a, a family over something that's going on. Maybe a specific family dynamic, something that's happening there. It could be a living situation. It could be something to do with finances that could also be impacting a living situation or someone leaving that may be, I don't know if they're leaving or passing, to be honest with you, because I kept getting the word loss, loss a minute ago. So I don't know if they're actually leaving. Something's happening. There's some kind of dynamic that's changing and it could be someone who's a big contributor to a family or something. I just feel a lot of... Um, anxiousness and but loss is what I feel honestly I feel lost the most so even if you are anxious about something I think somebody is worried about some kind of loss that is happening all right let's move on I think we'll do the quantum deck today I haven't done that in a long time I want to see what is coming up here spirit for my collective 
This is a time to really get in tune. It looks like, though, with your psychic abilities, with the downloads that you're getting, make sure that you're not down-talking yourself. So whatever is going on around you um, may be impacting you in a sense where you're feeling bad or you're feeling bad or your position. I don't know if it has to do with this particular family or like you can't take care of things for you and your family. It's something along those lines there. And maybe you are kind of diminishing yourself. Um in accordance to that, you know what I'm saying? But that's not real. Okay. You got to get out of that. You're first of all, you're not going to get anywhere. That's not going to give you a leg up doing that. All right. Talk nice to yourself, build yourself up. Okay. You need to keep yourself strong, especially through times like this and listen to what you're getting. If you are going through some kind of major ending, uh, especially where a family is involved or something along those lines, I mean, it looks to me like you're being taken care of because you, you literally have two cards together that says pay attention to what you're getting. So whatever is being lost, okay, whatever's going on here may actually may actually be for a reason. That's what I'm feeling, okay? It could very well be something that's going to serve your highest good in some way moving forward. But you got to keep yourself uh, mentally, I feel like, and emotionally strong here, okay? Your self-worth strong here. Have compassion for yourself as you go through these changes or whoever's going through these changes here. Listen to what you're getting, the downloads and all this, because it's going to lead you, it looks like, to some kind of new path here. And this new path here is going to be connected to some kind of a, imagination or creativity. All right. Something that's actually coming your way that is going to be good for you. All right. So let's see. Spirit, give me some more on this situation, please, for my collective. Yeah. Look at this. Consciousness. Present power right there. This is it right here, right here, this moment. Okay, this is what your consciousness needs to be at. And even when you're, I know when we get really down on ourselves, this is really difficult to see from this place. But see if you can, even getting quiet, even if you have to listen to things that motivate you, that pull you back into this present position where you feel powerful, where you know that this is just a moment in time and you're going to get through this. All right, see what else? friends and colleagues. This may have something to do with your friends and colleagues. You may be losing a lot of your friends and colleagues. Maybe you're leaving a job. Maybe that's what the loss is about. Maybe um, maybe this is also where you get some kind of help for. I don't know. I'm sorry, some kind of help from. Maybe this also has something to do with the loss. So maybe this has, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it just looks to me like this could be around some kind of friends and colleagues. You might be leaving something. Maybe somebody's losing a job, okay? It could definitely be that somebody's actually losing a job or something. Maybe somebody's experienced something here with the friends and colleagues that have some, has them kind of feeling bad. This could also be telling me that your friends and colleagues will be the ones that are helping you at this time. I don't get that the strongest, I'm going to be honest with you, but it could be for some of you. What I mostly feel is that for some reason you're feeling impacted by whoever these people are here. Okay. Maybe they've made you feel some kind of lack of self-worth. Maybe you have, you know, you feel like you've taken some kind of fall in front of them too. Hopefully not, but I guess it could be. Um, we have people kind of working against you. Hey, maybe you're in management. <laughs> You always gonna not always, but you will have that from some time from time to time for sure in management. Look at this commitment. So, okay. So maybe this is about a commitment. Maybe you lost some kind of commitment, or you know, commitment can also this person actually has a contract. Okay. Maybe you're walking away from some kind of contract, or maybe you're walking towards some kind of contract. Maybe that's what this new creative endeavor is too. But also here with your, you know, angel of psychic abilities, maybe also with your psychic abilities being so elevated at this particular time, they're particularly strong at present, okay? It's also telling you here, maybe, I mean, this could be what's driving you out. Perhaps somebody here is really changing their direction based on what they're getting, based on their, you know, changes that are happening with them. Have you ever seen, I don't know if you guys have been through this, but I think the tower... 
signifies it so well but you know when everything just kind of blows up around you it's not one thing it can be just this goes this goes like some really major things okay and you're kind of starting over and it can be a little bit scary but you have this really fresh you know just really <laughs> that's the way i look at it anyway yeah just a fresh canvas right to to kind of paint your story on you're not really attached to that anymore so the issue that we get into is we stay so attached to things that have happened or what people think or we view something as a loss we're, we're not really looking forward to the new start you're obviously getting some kind of new start here and that's why i'm saying that i don't see a bleak start here anywhere i do see some changes that are absolutely happening and potentially at, uh, after some kind of loss okay i do see and obviously whoever sees this and you're going through this Clearly, this is confirmation that you are meant to see this. You need to see this because this is like Spirit saying to you, stay strong, speak kindly to yourself, stay in your current power because that is where your power is, right here in the present, okay? So you may have some kind of new commitment that is moving forward as well, okay? You might be going towards some kind of new job. You could be relocating. Um, let's see what else, what else, Spirit? Maybe thinking about some kind of commitment here. Somebody could be thinking about some kind of commitment here. Yeah, look at this. It, there's the energy. That's your energy, courage. Okay, now we have standing in your present power and we have courage. You have everything that you need. You have the courage within you. You may have to dig deep, okay, to move towards whatever this change is, whatever it is that you're trying to bring into being here. Um yeah, you may have to dig for some courage, but that is your energy. That's the energy card. These cards all fall differently. You have people. This could be an event that's coming up. This could be energy. Okay, you're going to have courage to do whatever this is that you're doing. Maybe move towards a new commitment. Maybe somebody here has commitment on the brain, okay, and they want to move towards this commitment, they, but they need to have some kind of courage. All right, but your energy shows me that you have all the courage. All right, so you may already be feeling that. You may feel very courageous at this time. You may already be feeling that, okay? Or you may need to kind of muster up that courage because you're a very strong individual internally, I feel. Anyway, you might just be going through a little bit of doubt, a little bit of law within yourself here. I look at this conflict. Okay. And maybe that's why. Maybe somebody here is thinking that they're going to run into some kind of conflict moving towards this, maybe moving in a different direction. A direction. It could also be moving towards some kind of commitment is going to bring some kind of conflict with somebody who is very deserving. Okay, somebody, whoever you're moving towards, this is a consciousness card. They know who they are. Okay, this is a person who knows who they are. They know their worth. Uh, they probably live, this is like a nine of pentacles kind of card to me, pre-empress energy. This person probably takes, you know, good care of themselves, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually as well. It looks like they love the finer things in life, but they also, I mean, they adore things that are so often overlooked, right? Nature and kindness, right? This is a person that definitely is embracing i feel a lot of feminine energy with that here look at this and maybe you are looking towards some kind of conflict with this person or you're thinking there's going to be some kind of conflict with this person here so you're trying to have courage to move towards that looks to me like somebody here is definitely fearing some kind of loss so this person may have actually sailed away from you or moved away from you in some sense look at this person and maybe you've been waiting here holding <laughs> holding this, waiting for them to come back or something like that, okay, thinking that they would come back and this person has not actually came back to you. That's the thing. I think you're feeling very conflicted about a situation. So somebody here, whether it's you or some other person that you're dealing with, somebody is definitely feeling very conflicted about a situation here. They feel like there will be conflict. They don't like the conflict between them and another person is what I'm getting. They may be feeling a lot of loss at this time. Okay. This could be somebody that they wanted to or that they had a commitment with. Get another card here on that loss card. Maybe this is you as well. 
Okay, if this is a person that you're dealing with, this could be you. Flip it up as it needs to be, of course. Okay, maybe you have went out in a different direction. Maybe you are psychic. Okay, maybe your psychic abilities, uh, abilities are very heightened at this time. You could be spending a lot of time around family up here as well. Okay, definitely need to make sure that you're speaking to yourself kindly. Okay, keeping yourself in a good state. But you may have been the one that actually ran off or, or moved off sailed away here for some kind of new start some kind of creative start creative endeavor here for yourself you could have started a business so did you have a commitment with somebody else look at this fragment and energy yeah on this loss whoever this person is that you're dealing with uh, you know what i don't know that this person is necessarily in the best place this is my feeling here okay i think they are feeling a lot of loss they might have a lot of conflict in their life at this time trying to be courageous maybe about a situation but their energy feels very fragmented like it feels very all over the place so maybe this person is going through some kind of healing maybe they're going through some they could be going through some kind of tower moment or something like that i get from just my feelings alone, I feel like this person is one that could be very, you know, this person, first of all, their energy is all over the place. I definitely feel that right now. Highs and lows, a lot of highs and lows here. They could be, I don't want to call them a very arrogant person, even though I'm, when I'm looking at this card over here, um, I wouldn't normally get that, but I do get that. I think that this person almost like, how do I want to word this? Um, Maybe distorted masculine, okay, or wounded masculine is what I want to say. You could be dealing with a wounded masculine or a feminine for that matter. It doesn't have to be a masculine for sure. But that is really heavy uh, in that kind of wounded energy. That's what I'm getting. So you may see them having like a pronounced or an overpronounced ego, which is, of course, is going to come off a bit narcissistic, okay? This person is very fragmented in terms of their energy. This person actually has a lot of wounding is what I'm getting. But they may be finding through some kind of loss here. I, I just think they're feeling more out of sorts. I got to be honest with you. That's not necessarily a good thing, but I definitely feel like this person is, you know, they're out of sorts. Something about you. I don't know if you left them. Or something's going on in their life where they feel like you're not there for them. It's something like that. When I tell you I'm feeling like a pendulum swing, it's like highs and lows. It's going, I think this person may vacillate somewhere between love and honestly hate. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what went down. I'm not even sure if, if there is hate. I think this person is on this swing due to their emotions. That's what I'm getting here. The highs and lows. I... I don't like to label people, but they may have a little bipolar. That's what I'm feeling. Could be or could feel that way. You know, this person definitely needs to do some kind of healing is what I'm feeling. I just busted a rhyme. <laughs> just got quite serious there for a minute. And I threw a rhyme on y'all. So, <laughs> let's go. Spirit, talk to me about... I'm going to look at this person a little deeper. Oh, yeah? Okay, they're telling me to get another deck. So let me try this deck here. Okay, talk to me about this person. A little bit more on this person for my collective. So I can see what this energy is about. I don't know if somebody blames you for something collective or... That's what I'm saying. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's almost like, you know, when somebody is wounded and obviously they're not thinking clearly, they can be kind of victimized. And I do feel some of that. And I think maybe that's where this, this other energy is coming from. This kind of, you know, the anger or the, maybe it's a little bit resentment too, to be honest with you. All right, Spirit, what else? Tell me more about this person that the collective is dealing with. Yeah, completion. Now you see somebody's being buried here, right? And I literally started off something here. So something could have happened here, but you know, 
there is loss here. We already saw that. And this could just be telling me, too, that something's over. Okay, maybe they feel like you are a ghost in their life, right? You've just kind of went on your own way. And you're not really dealing with them anymore. You're just kind of moving along. And you're not thinking about... That's what I kept getting very strongly. It was almost like a... They're not even dealing with me anymore. They're not thinking about me. They just kind of left me behind. And that's what I get here. Tell me some more about this. This person could also be completing something in their life. Like we started out saying. That could have been something around their family. It could have been something around... Uh, the people, you know, around work or something like that. See, look, bittersweet. Yeah, they don't know how to feel. Okay, I said love, hate. That's what I chose to use. But yeah, I mean, I don't think they really know how to feel about it. I almost get the idea that this person is not taking accountability for their side of things, if that makes sense. Yeah, look at this trickery as well. Remember when I said earlier something about friends or colleagues or maybe something happened here as well and this person felt like they didn't have others in their corner. Maybe there was some kind of trickery that took place. Let me get some more on this because, you know, trickery has fallen on top of commitment as well. Maybe this person was tricked into some kind of commitment. All right, that's their own fault. I'm sorry, but, you know, maybe they feel that it was something like that. I definitely, even as I'm saying this, like I feel emotions pushing up. So I'm telling you, this person is very emotional over whatever has happened here. They feel like, I, I feel like they feel like you're not there for them. Or maybe they're upset because they feel like they would like for you to be there for them in a time like this. Something is definitely swelling up in this person. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's the insecurity here. All right, I also have passion as well. Yeah. I believe it's this person here who hasn't been speaking nicely to themselves. Okay, it's funny because I told you they're bouncing around in their energy quite a bit. It's very fragmented here. So, I do think something has completed in their life. Okay, and maybe that's with you. I don't really know. They feel like it's quite bittersweet. There could have been a lot of trickery that's been around this. Um... This person's feeling insecure in terms of moving forward here, okay? They may even be trying because they do feel that some of this is going to pertain to you because I think for some of you guys, you have left, you, you've just kind of left, okay? Left the scene is what I'm getting, all right? Maybe they know that you've completed it. Maybe they're feeling like there's no way to come out or come out of this. They do. They may very well feel like that's bittersweet. They might be thinking about being a little bit tricky, to get their way with you. Maybe they've tried to be a little bit tricky to get your attention. That has not worked. It could have them very much so feeling a bit insecure about a situation here. Um, no doubt about it. This person definitely feels like there's a lot of passion uh, between the two of you. Or there was a lot of passion. But I don't know. Something's happened here that I feel has really kind of changed the dynamic of the situation in this particular story. So what was once felt, I think, has been dying down, to be honest with you. Yeah. So, wow. <laughs> this person may be praying as well, praying quite a bit, on their knees even praying. All right. Trying to bring something back together, maybe to have another chance, okay, about someone, someone something they're very passionate about here. Maybe they feel like... This is, you guys should be on some kind of destiny together, or this is some kind of destined connection. Why do I get the idea that this could be like a twin? You know, this maybe somebody has opened their eyes to that. But it's crazy because I, I don't feel like your person's accountable, if I'm being honest. That's not what I'm getting here. I feel like somebody has let something lie for so long or they've done so maybe the back and forth thing for so long that it's kind of done damage and somebody just kind of finally pulled the plug. And the thing is, you're not giving them the attention that they want. I feel that strongly. So I don't know what they've done to get your attention, but you're not doing that anymore. Yeah, look. Facade, if you're seeing this person and they're acting like they're happy or things are going great and their life is good and blah, blah, blah. That's just not the case. All right. That is definitely not the case. I got a person here that is super emotional here, feeling a great deal of loss here, uh, feeling some insecurity as well. So up and down with their emotions, very fragmented, maybe trying to find their, 
The saving grace here I feel with this fragmented energy is I feel like I'm reading that as somebody, something that you have done here or something just, I don't know if it's because you finally closed the door because that's what I feel. You finally closed the door. You finally started really, really withdrawing your energy, doing your own thing. Enough is enough, that sort of thing. You may be sending this person into a bit of an awakening here, especially if you're connected at a twin flame level. I just feel like it is being felt very deeply here. Yeah, look, and the card that comes out is faith. I'm telling, this person's doing a lot of praying. I don't know if they're religious or not. They certainly don't have to be, but you know, this person is definitely doing a lot. They're trying to keep the faith. I feel in this situation. Um, I think if this is some kind of dark night or something like that, that they're actually going through. Yeah. See, they do have some guilt though. So that's a good thing. I don't know if they're admitting it, but they, <laughs> it's good to actually see something to say that they do have some kind of guilt over whatever has happened here. But something about this person, so I almost, I don't know if you guys were trauma bonded or something like that. I, I definitely get a sense of this person thought that you would be there or they feel like you should be there for them. It's that kind of thing. And look, there's that prayer card. Okay. I'm telling you, there's deep, a lot of deep praying going on when it comes to this situation here. All right. So this person could actually use some kind of trickery or something like that to try and get your attention. Maybe they have been doing that, like I said. I don't know what that means. I mean, maybe calling you up, you'll answer and they hang up. That's pretty stupid, but <laughs> it's pretty childish. But yeah, maybe they've left comments on your social media or tried to, you know, ask friends or different things like that to make sure that they are, you're still thinking about them or something like that, or maybe to see if you're thinking about them. See, that's the thing. I feel like this person feels like there's no indication that you are. That's the thing right there. So you may have, you might actually be in something else. Okay. I do feel like you got, you're definitely to the point or you've been to the point. Of, I feel like you're at the point, whoever this is for that, you know, enough is enough, that sort of thing. You're moving in a different direction. You're living your life. You know, you're not going to put your life on hold forever or whatever was happening back here. Some of you guys are just following your intuition, just straight up, plain and simple. You know, your guys, your angels, whoever it is, you know, that guides you is saying, you know, you, it's time to close that door. You got to, you got to march on. And I think you're just following that, which is wonderful. That, of course, will not lead you astray. All right. Tell me about this person, Spirit. What is going on here? Well, actually, let's do this a little differently. Clear. Spirit, tell me about my collective. What energy is the collective in? Energy is the collective in. Okay, so I have the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, I have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. Wow, I have the Four of Wands. I mean, you definitely walked away from some something. Yeah, look, geez, I mean, I I can't have a clearer understanding here. I have the Queen of Cups. You are loving yourself. Okay. You're paying attention to your very strong intuition. You're nurturing yourself. You could be nurturing other people. You could certainly be taking care of your emotional self is what I'm seeing here. All right. You've been really getting back in tune with who you are. All right. When I see the eights in reverse, I see somebody who is not trying to work on something, honestly. All right. You're just not trying to work on something at this time in terms of this relationship here. Okay. You may have felt like that was an unhappy time in your life. Okay. You could have actually left a place, moved away. You could have lived with this person. You don't have to be, but you could have lived with them. You could have wanted a reunion, but you know, the four of wands in reverse is about a canceled reunion. It's something that's been postponed. All right. You have kind of I don't know if this happened and you just walked away as a result, but I'm asking for your energy and this is your energy. And then we have the five of cups in reverse, which is all about moving forward. Okay. It's about healing. It's about rejoining the world. Okay. So you could have been down about this for a little while. And now you're really focused on your own healing, your own nurturing, taking care of yourself uh, building yourself back up emotionally, listening to your intuition, and marching forward. Wow. So this is a big energetic shift for you. This is why I think this person is reacting so strongly. You're probably sending this person into a straight awakening, I'm just telling you. 
regardless of what you decide to do with it. I'm just saying, you know, that's if you are in a twin flame, that's what it was about, okay, to wake this person up. And I'm sure they probably woke you up to a few things as well. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, you're not interested in that. This is what you're focused on here, okay? You may be focused on building some kind of generational wealth. You might be putting a lot of time into your investments, okay? Um, into thinking about the things you're going to invest in. But this is about long-term investments. This is about culmination. You might be spending a lot of time in whatever your creative endeavors are or whatever your financial endeavors are, trying to make sure that you're going to have everything that you need. Why do I feel like this is happening fast too? I don't know if you're later in age or something like that, whatever that means for you. But you know, maybe um, you're feeling like you're on a deadline or something like that and you need to get that together pretty quick here, okay? Um you could also be recognizing that you've had some delays due to wh whatever this is. I, you know what I feel? I almost feel, so I have insecurity on this person. There may be a little bit of hesitation from you as well as insecurity about dealing with this person again because of everything they brought into your life. You may also feel... There may be a trust issue too is what I'm feeling here with this person because a lot of what you witnessed here I feel like could have been a facade or you could have thought it was a facade. There could have been a lot of secrets or even lies or something like that. Illusion. So there may be some insecurity in even going backwards in terms of that. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep pushing forward because this took, you know, a little bit away from my life and, you know, I'm, I'm grateful even though I'm grateful, right, for the spiritual lessons, I'm grateful for the growth. I know what that looks like. And I, I don't want to go through that again. I've grown. I want to make sure I don't repeat that. I need to move forward and continue focusing, especially if you're one of the ones that I talked about that may be trying to be on, on a bit of a fast track to, I don't know if you're trying to save or invest as much as you can, um, or just maybe even just get back on your feet. Okay. After a lot of delays. Yeah. So we have... Yeah, so there was definitely some some delays here, but this is this card is about seeing the truth. Okay, so that's what's happened here. You see the truth in the situation. You've chosen not to really focus on the relationship this time, not to work on the relationship at this time, to work on your money, okay, to work on your stability and to work on your emotional and spiritual growth is what I'm getting. Seeing the truth speaks volumes to me just simply because, you know, once we see it and we feel it that deeply, it's easier to move on it, okay? You can't deny it anymore. You can't stay in illusions. You can't make up, continue to make up excuses for a person. You see it, right? Yeah. And there we have again, yeah, this is about things that are coming in, things that are coming to you, you reap in your harvest. This can also be about kind of reassessing and making sure that whatever you're investing in at this time is going to be good for you. So let me look at this person then, Spirit. Tell me about this person's energy. Yeah, so I don't even think you're thinking about a relationship, okay? That's what I'm getting. Anyway, you're definitely not, I don't think, you certainly don't seem to be thinking about one particular relationship, it may bring up some, make sure that you're healing from that. <laughs> make sure that you're healing from that too, so that that doesn't splash over into new potential relationships, okay? Your person's coming through as the emperor. Wow, okay. So a lot of stability. Um, oh, wow. Shoot. Somebody wants to confess something here. Oh, yeah. See, this person is in complete upheaval. Okay, so we have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All right. Your person could uh, be some kind of authority figure. Okay, definitely somebody who likes to be in control. They might be a very disciplined person. All right. Um, likes things to be pretty structured. So certainly somebody who works with a lot of facts is what I'm getting. This person wants to come clean about something. I think they are trying to, or they feel like they're wanting to turn over some kind of new leaf. All right. Um, this is the card about the consciousness kicking in here. <laughs> okay. Somebody wanting to confess something, because I'm going to tell you something. Their life is in disorder. I keep saying that. All right. They feel some kind of lack of control here. There's been some kind of big disruption. I feel like in their life, they might feel like they're reaping some kind of bad luck at this time, some kind of upheaval in their life. 
I said something happened with this person. So if somebody around them or if they had other people around them in your absence, okay, that's been, I don't know, that has duped them in some way or hurt them in some way, maybe it's created some of this. But, you know, I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to set them free on this because I feel like, you know, some of this definitely has to do with them. And one thing about your person that I think that they're lacking is accountability. And they're going to have to get that together if they want their life to progress. We have to be accountable, even when it don't look pretty. Okay. So what else, Spirit, for this person, for the collective? What else can you tell me? Yeah. Yeah. See, this person could have had a lot of options. And maybe they know that. Maybe this person's having a difficult time. Maybe they've been procrastinating on making some kind of decision about you, about this. Okay, that left you in these illusions like we talked about before. All right, they could have had a lot of options here. The options don't have to be other females or males. Okay, the options could be, you know, do I do I want to settle down? Do I, you know, do I give them time off my work or over my work? Do I prioritize them? This person could be seeing you in their dreams. You could be seeing them as well. Something about the dream state here. Yeah. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Yeah. And then we have the Magician as well. Something might have happened in this person's life that happened very quickly. It could have been something that threw them into some kind of upheaval here. Okay. They know what is going on. Why do they feel like they need to confess to you? They need to tell you something that has happened in their life. You may already be aware of it. This may also be why you got away from the situation. This may also be why you're saying, look, bruh, <laughs> I'm just dealing with me right now. I don't want to work on anything. Okay. Um, you know, I just want to be by myself at this time. I want to move forward and focus on my stability, focus on my happiness, focus on my emotional contentment here okay it could be because of something that you are aware of here that was happening in this person's life maybe you kept asking them for it but maybe they wanted to be in control they didn't want to tell you they didn't want to say anything they wanted to have control over this situation all right but whatever it is this person's life's in upheaval right now complete upheaval all right This person could have been in and out of your life a lot, okay? Maybe came to you when they wanted something and then left. Maybe they texted you and then ghosted you. Um, this person could be very impulsive as well. You know, the Knight of Swords is not all bad, but it could show me fast movement towards something. They could be making some kind of fast movement out of a situation. The exit, we kind of saw that in the very beginning as well, okay? Trying to really assert themselves, be in their present power, because I don't, I think your person, although they definitely have an arrogance, they also slam themselves, whether you know it or not, okay? Emotionally, they don't say the kindest things to themselves, um, and hopefully that is changing as well. See, the, the issue that I'm, I'm feeling very strongly here is this person has, they put a lot of emphasis on what other people think about them. That's a mistake always, okay? And so, there's some kind of fall from grace or something here that's happened. Let me see. What are they confessing about? What is this person confessing about, Spirit? Oh, okay. Well, they might be confessing about being with someone else here. Seduction, lies. Okay. <laughs> um moral issues okay uh maybe this person that you know this is this is the queen of wands in reverse here definitely not good okay they could have been yeah i mean i'll just go back to the seduction the lies they could have been with someone else if you know about this or not okay um they could have went towards something else they could have chose that all right we also saw the choices here because that so that could definitely be what it is this person could have been in some kind of lower energy too this is a very lower low vibing kind of energy. This is a person that generally um, has no issue putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they could have just chose that kind of lifestyle. All right. They could have went towards that person. I don't know to what degree, but you can see right now, I mean, this person definitely 
is not in a happy space over what happened. There's literally some kind of apathy here over this situation. So they could have basically went towards another situation and left you hanging. I'm sorry if that's true for you, but, you know, and maybe that's something you needed to know. Maybe that's something that you needed to learn. Maybe that's God's way of protecting you as well, okay, uh, from something that was not going to work out. This person didn't see your value it was the issue. Okay, now this person's in some kind of depression here. Uh, a lot of nostalgia of you. This person could have been dealing with some kind of lower vibe and energy too is what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands in reverse. So your person was definitely in that, but something has woke them up and I don't know what it is. This could have been somebody that they actually met around work. They could have been committed. This is a card about commitment. They could have committed to somebody else here. Yeah, whatever it is, this could have definitely woke them up. All right. In a lot of ways, this person's had to have some kind of courage. It looks like to leave a specific situation. They're definitely trying to manifest you. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're trying to pull it together. Obviously be in their present power. We have the magician over here. They might be trying to escape a situation quite honestly here. All right. This is a person also in this nine of swords. It's very decisive, right? They're, they're usually somebody who gets what they want. They may be trying to, you know, arrive to you very quickly here. Definitely depart somewhere else very quickly. Okay. Yeah, because they have some kind of truth to reveal. All right, we have two cards here saying it. This person, you definitely have someone that wants to come towards you and speak some kind of truth to you. Bring you some kind of truth. Come clean in a sense. All right, about what happened here in the past, what they got caught up in. Jesus, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and on the bottom, we have the justice cards because they're trying to balance the scales in some way. They may feel that everything that's falling apart in their life kind of blowing up right now, okay, is some kind of karmic justice here as well. But this is also a card about law, okay? It's about truth. It's about honesty. It's about having some kind of integrity. I don't think they showed you a lot of that in the past there if there was some kind of commitment there could also be some kind of legal issue that is going on but why do i feel like that is not about the commitment now, okay hang on this reading taking a little bit of a left here whatever is going on legally may not be about the commitment it could be around the commitment but it's no it's something else illegal something illegal not just legal illegal illegal yeah, so they could be caught up in some kind of a legal BS or maybe this person that they're with is caught up in something like that. Somebody's in trouble. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right, this is getting a little crazy. All right, so somebody might actually be in some kind of trouble, some kind of legal, legal bind, some kind of legal issue, some kind of discovery some kind of discovery has happened. All right, let's see what's happening here. Let me get, shoot, I think I'm going to have to pull some of y'all, see what's happening. I'm going to go straight here, see what they can tell us. Cut on a child and a gift, okay. This is like the smallest deck. All right, Spirit, what else? What else can you tell me about this situation? Guys, are you even in this reading? <laughs> Except for the part... Yeah, you are in the reading. I've got other cards on you. It's like your person's definitely taken over over here. I think you're done with this situation, or you appear to be done energetically here, for those who this applies to. Yeah. This... Okay. So here's the deal. This person may actually have to take a journey okay, towards you, or you may have taken a journey and actually, like I said, physically left this person. You could have, you could have moved, all right, but somebody is having a journey somewhere else here. Yeah, sudden wealth. It's interesting because you are focused on this up here, so you may have actually moved away, okay? You could have definitely moved away here. You were obviously focused on, I mean, Ten of Pentacles is a lot of wealth, okay? Maybe you've ran it. Maybe your business has done really well, all right? Uh, maybe they see you kind of coming into some kind of sudden wealth of your own, okay? Because you've just been really focused on yourself. I mean, your your energy clearly shows that in the cards, all right? Official person, look at this, and then main male here. Hmm. Distant horizons, okay. I just 
don't think this has to do with you. I think something happened here. So I don't know what happened with this person here. Uh, the seduction, the lies, whatever has happened here. Some kind of journey could have been taken. They could leave, live at a distance from each other. They could have went with someone else here. Remember, I said some kind of illegal activity may have happened. Something may have happened illegally here where they obtained some kind of sudden wealth. Okay, I haven't gotten the thief card, thank God. But something along those lines here. We do have an official person. I'm going to go back to, we've already saw an emperor here. Okay, this could have something to do with the law. This could be a lawyer. This could be a police officer. This could be some something in that or around that area here. This could also be somebody here that has, you know, to tell me that something here is within the courts here. See, distance horizon. So we do have a main male that is certainly involved here. We could have a police officer and a main male that is involved here. And we have a queen of wands in reverse here as well. Could we have a few people that's in this situation? Remember, I said the friends around work. Remember, I said that earlier, friends and colleagues. So this could be friends. This could be with friends. This could be with colleagues. And it could have been something that happened either while they were away or something that's happened, distant horizons, right? But it's just now kind of coming home to roost. Yeah, and then we have the main female. So it involves the main female as well. And that could very well be, this person could have had some kind of commitment with this queen of wands here in reverse. Somebody could have been doing something too. Wow. Okay. Let me get a few more cards because now I'm feeling like somebody could have been doing something too. Do you have knowledge of something that's happened to you? Hmm. Yeah, poverty. And then coffin. Something's happened here. I'm going to tell you, and I know this heifer is involved down here. I can feel that. And I think your person is involved as well. Okay, that maybe these people are really wrapped up in obtaining some kind of sudden wealth by any means necessary, but something they've been dealing with people, it looks to me like at a journey, somebody that's distant from them, I'm feeling like in another country, maybe something like that. Was this some kind of tender swindler? <laughs> All right. Um, but they're paying a price for it right now. Whatever it is, something is caught up with them. And I feel like maybe in the courts or something that's bringing somebody to a state of poverty. Here's the thing right here. They could have thought they were doing really well. This person could have thought that, you know, and then somebody could have been taking from them as well. Somebody could have robbed them as well. Okay, maybe they didn't know that is what was happening. Maybe they put too much trust in somebody and didn't realize what they were really doing. Yeah, look at that. Now we have the despair card. Yeah. Bad health card. Coffin again. Okay. Somebody might have been doing something to another person here that they were unaware of. Okay. Initially. And it can have them right now in this uproar. We saw that. We saw the, uh, what do we saw? The Wheel of Fortune actually in reverse. So it may actually have this person leaving this person in some kind of poverty in some way. Okay. Poverty, despair, bad health here. Remember at the very beginning, I said loss and somebody could have passed. Somebody could have physically passed. Somebody could have actually passed here. Somebody could have passed away here. That could be the legal issue as well. Wow. Yeah. House could also be involved in this situation. They could have a house together. Maybe legally there could be something going on as well with their house. This is whatever it is, there's definitely a lot of concern around this situation right here. I'm kind of, you know what, it, what are they bringing? What are they coming clean? Unless you already told them that this was going to happen or you told them what was going on or maybe you told them about some person they were getting involved with. Or that them dealing in this like darker energy or whatever was going to come back to, to harm them in some way, shape, or form. And they didn't want to come clean. They were in that emperor energy. They wanted to stay in control. They wanted to have control of a situation. Now it's all kind of coming back. Somebody is definitely not in good health here is what I'm feeling. All right, we have the bees card coming out first. So it could have been something that card is about duty to me. So this could have definitely been people around their work. I'm just telling you that they got kind of tied in with something. Some people, they were definitely working together in some way. 
some kind of cooperation that was going on. When I think about bees, I usually think sweet, but not always. The bees are definitely very dutiful, working together, okay? Hard work, hard at work at something here. Oh, wow, okay. So, book in reverse. So this is information they don't want to come out because this is definitely the card about learning. It's about information. It's about knowledge, discovery. They've been... Okay, this person's, oh God, okay. There's a lot of secrets around this situation. They don't want to come out, okay? They don't want to be revealed here. Maybe that's why they want to kind of talk to you and bring you the truth because they know that something is coming out or maybe they've learned something. Something could have been hidden from them too with this book in reverse here. <laughs> wow, yeah. Look at this. It's definitely coming out. You got all this gossip around this situation. Hang on. I think another one turned. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Mine's turned. Okay. So, I mean, you have, look at that. You have the cross. You have the birds. You have um, mice. All of them not good cards. Okay. The cross is about having a lot of burdens, a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow and guilt. Okay. Somebody could feel like they're really suffering from this, whatever was being hidden here. The knowledge they didn't have, okay, or whatever they don't want to come out. They don't want the facts to come out, okay, something along those lines there has to do over someone who they were cooperating with. They were cooperating with this person. Whatever this person was doing into, they were cooperating with them. They were working together in some way, all right, but something here about lacking the knowledge. So what did they lack the knowledge of? They didn't know what this person was doing, but they were involved with it. And now this is this, now that they know there's some big cross to bear here. Okay, this person could be coming to terms with their own beliefs, religion, something like that too. I, God, I keep going back to some kind of society. I don't know why. I know zero about these secret societies, but I don't know why I'm picking that up yet again. I don't know if they were working in conjunction with someone like in a group like that. It doesn't have to be like that. Uh, this card can be about beliefs and religion too. Something is definitely being challenged here. They were doing something to you or to somebody, maybe to many people. Okay. They might've been doing shit to people and it could be exploding in their face too. If I want to continue along the vein of what's been coming up in our readings, I mean, honestly, this could be a complete backfire that's got people sick, broke, most definitely could, whatever, this person has a great deal of guilt here, okay? They're feeling very sad about something, but something is coming out here, I'm telling you, okay? Somebody definitely is feeling very anxious. They want to speak. They want to talk about something that happened. Um, there could be a lot of gossip around a situation, so this could be a lot of knowledge that's already known, okay? Especially with this this many people that are involved. What I keep wanting to say, these are this is going to be... Um, family, I feel like friends or even work friends is what I'm feeling here. Okay, there's a lot with the mice card. That's all about theft. I said theft, right? I did say that. This is about theft. Um, it's about toxic situation. It's about something that's been very draining for them. Okay, that's created a lot of stress in their life, a lot of lack, a lot of worry, a lot of loss here. This is why this person's energy is so fragmented. Okay, now that makes sense to me. Yeah, it could have been some kind of risk, some kind of gamble that they took here. They could have been working on some kind of blind faith here, feeling like they were a part of something else. There's several characters here, I want you to know. All right, so it's more than one person. This is several people that were involved here. This person was playing with fate. Whatever was happening, they were playing with fate. I don't know if they were playing with your fate, if somebody was playing with their fate, if they were all tempting fate, but they were gambling. They were playing with some kind of fate here and, and things are coming to the surface. That's all I can say about it. It's just so freaking crystal clear here. Things are coming to the surface here. Somebody's caught or busted or um, things are just backfiring. Okay. Like I said before, leaving people very sick, very unstable, very broke. All right. We're not scared. Somebody was tempting fate. Let me damn. There's that house again. And look where it's falling on the house. All right. This could have been something that was happening with people that they lived with. It could have been several people living together. 
okay? Um, it could have been also, it could have happened in a house or it could be about a house, something like that. Definitely people that they were familiar with. These were not something to do with domestic affairs. So it could have been several people living in the house together. This may have been where a lot of them met up as well because maybe they felt like there was some kind of safety in that, some kind of privacy in that as well. Like we usually feel like our, you know, our homes are our sanctuary. This one could also be losing a home as well. Look, there's the child card. I split on that earlier as well. Okay. And a child. Now this could tell me, okay, this is just a, the workings of a bunch of people who are clearly immature. Okay. Naive even. All right, um, inexperienced, but it could also tell me that it also involves some kind of child here. Hopefully the child is not the one that is sick, you know. Okay, what else here? This feels very bad to me all of a sudden, honestly, like bad juju, kind of bad. Um, hmm. and then we have the sun here though. That's a beautiful card. You know, the sun is about happiness. It's about truth. It's about having some kind of positive outcome. You could be dealing with a Leo. That's the card of Leo here. Maybe somebody is just, you know, they're trying to leave. You know, we do have the child in this together. The child can also be about some kind of new beginning. Okay. Moving towards their sun, moving towards their happiness, coming out of this darkness. trying to get some kind of, you know, some kind of fortune going because they're in, they're in bad fortune. We've already seen that, right? We've seen it actually in a few places, not just one. So yeah, that's what they are doing. The sun is also about truth. It's about things being illuminated. And oh my God, as I'm saying that something could be illuminated, something could be illuminated about a child. I guess something could be illuminated about their, you know, their naivete when, you know, in doing something. Something's going on here. This person may have committed because they got somebody pregnant here too. Yeah, whatever it is. Somebody's trying to come forward because they want to talk. There's definitely some kind of arrival coming in, okay? Somebody wanting to move pretty fast or some kind of new info that maybe you didn't know about before that is coming through. No idea how long this has been. <laughs> Sorry. Taking a bunch of turns here. Okay. So we have control. This is a person that may feel like they've been under control. They could feel like they've literally been a puppet on the string. Okay. Or maybe that's the way they did you. Notice that this card came out in reverse. This is somebody that is trying to gain control again. All right, get control of their life, come off the stream, whatever they feel like was happening. Now, I don't know about that, to be honest with you. Okay, um, this is definitely about regaining some kind of control here. But this person was an emperor. Remember that if that's not them, then that was somebody that they were dealing with. But their energy was coming out like they were in control. So are they pulling the strings or was somebody else here? The bottom line is I feel like somebody got into a situation here. Yeah, uh, yes, God. This is about, okay, I don't know what is taking place here. I got to be honest with you. Was somebody trying to control y'all's situation? Did somebody jump in between your situation? I thought we were off of that. Somebody could have been trying to control this situation. That could have definitely been what some of this stuff was here. This is stuff that's definitely been hidden. Okay, this knowledge, these secrets, the stuff that was going on, it could have been happening in another country. I'm just going to keep saying it, like hiring somebody or, or dealing with someone in another country. It could have been people in another country. They could have been young too. Okay. Yeah, trying to control some kind of true love situation, some kind of honest connection, some kind of pure love maybe from coming together. And now you're over it? Oh my God. Wow. Thing was, your person was too arrogant, so they could have been in this mode. They could have married somebody. They could have been a father, anything like that. They could have been in this very disciplined position, but they weren't intuitive. 
they weren't paying attention okay to everything that was going on here that's very clear here somebody could have been dealing with a mature woman here someone who's very classy okay a connector very warm friendly yeah we have dating here this could have been somebody that they were dating for a short time it could have been a very honest connection very pure connection here Here's that travel card again. This may be somebody they could have met traveling, okay? Or this could be somebody who travels a lot, enjoys their life here, takes a lot of vacations. We have children here as well here. Okay, this is about childlike and innocence as well. This could have been a very fun, flirty, um, childlike, innocent kind of connection where everybody could just kind of relax and be themselves. Could have been a very short-term deal, okay? Could have been a quick fling where two people met each other. It's very honest, like I said, very pure. The energy was high. Somebody here could be a blonde female, okay? Lighter hair. It could also be red. I'm looking at red as well. Somebody could have really blue eyes, very laid-back kind of persona, personality. Karma, okay? And this person, whoever this is up here, could be moving towards new opportunities. They might look at this as karma, okay? This was karmic lessons that they had to learn, okay? I've learned those lessons. That's why I'm not trying to move back in that direction. I need to move forward here towards new opportunities here. That was a toxic story. I don't want the toxic story. Could have been somebody that you were friends with before, okay? Okay. Um, you could have been acquaintances. You could have met this person while you were doing some kind of networking here. Yeah. They could see you as somebody that's going out, that's dating a lot here. Your person could be a, somebody who's dating a lot. I could get online. I don't know why that's not on there, but that's what I'm feeling. Somebody could do a lot of online dating as well. Somebody who has a lot of attention, a lot of suitors here. Look at this, but I have family here coming out in reverse. Somebody's family is maybe being turned upside down. Somebody, you know, this is a this is a wife, a husband, and a child. Just take it as it resonates. Maybe they're being turned upside down. Maybe you felt like this person was part of your soul group, your soul family. Maybe you really cared about this person. But now look, I mean, it's coming out this way. Maybe you feel like, no, this was just a kind of karmic connection that I had. Maybe you feel different about it now. Yeah, somebody here is definitely being the ice king. That could be you, honestly. The boss, the entrepreneur. You could be very detached from this situation at this time, collective. Yeah, but somebody may want to surprise you with something, okay? They might want to present you with something. They could very well be looking for some kind of opening to see if you'll give them some kind of opening to come forward here. But I think you're too busy out here being free, okay? You have a lightness to you now because you are paying attention to your emotional state, all right? You're paying attention to your, your pentacles and the things that you're trying to do over here to keep yourself stable, to build yourself up, okay? You may not even be, honestly, it looks to me like you're, even if you were in something, it would be very casual. You're probably having casual uh, friendships, if anything, uh, I think you're liking being single at this time. There's a lightness to it and really getting to know yourself, taking care of yourself. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this open relationship. So this is in reverse, which is good. Okay. So that tells me something in the past was offering, you no know, commitment, very casual. Okay. This is telling me that maybe you don't want anything that is superficial like that. Again, you've learned your lesson from it. You Maybe you figured out how you got kind of drawn into a karmic situation. It needed to happen clearly. There was clearly things in you that needed to be healed. And I think that's exactly what happened due to it. So in that respect, wonderful. But I mean, going back to your cards, you're not looking to go back into anything like that at this point. Yeah, even if there was a lot of passion in there, a lot of chemistry with that, that's not that's not what you're looking for because there was so much drama. And we see this. Here's the problem. I see a lot of, I'm going to summarize real quick. So many issues, regardless of what's going on with your person, and, and a lot is going on with your person. I mean, I've touched on many things. I do think people were in y'all's relationship. I'm just going to tell you that. Whatever you had, your connection. I'm not even going to say relationship because it wasn't necessarily a relationship I'm feeling. Situationship, okay? 
people were definitely trying to play with the energy. People were definitely trying to keep two people apart. This could have been a very substantial, very pure, I think very true uh, love that you could have had a lot of compassion, emotion, love for this person at one time. I do think that that has diminished for whoever this is talking to or whoever I'm talking to here. I know that's not going to be for all of you guys. Um, you have definitely turned to a place where you are focused on you and you don't care about all this drama. Yeah, I think you would probably listen to this person, but I do feel like you've probably closed the door on this situation. You're not, you're not concerned about it. In fact, if any stress in your life would be there, it would be the concern of, you know what? Oh God, I don't, you know, what does this person want? I don't want to get back into that situation. This person, I don't know who they're in bed with or who they have in their circle, but these are not good people. They might be facing some kind of legal issues. It looks like could even be a divorce in the mix or some kind of separation that's happening. Uh, definitely, definitely a lot of mischievous stuff here. Okay. And probably and it could be some legal stuff as well. Okay. So this person's got a lot of drama that is behind them. I respect the fact that they may very well be trying to turn over a new leaf. The thing is, I think you've moved forward. I don't think you're about it right now. You, and honestly, listen to me like you're still healing. You're to a good space right now. Why would you turn back? That's kind of what I'm getting here. All right. You don't want anything like that anymore. You don't want anything where there's so many people can come in and, and pull somebody that quickly pull their attention. You want something more substantial um, in your life. And you want somebody that you can trust very clearly. Even if there's chemistry, if there's passion, it's not enough. You don't want these short term flings anymore. You're really enjoying, I think, your freedom. I think you're enjoying the lightness, like I said, that it brings. The no drama in your life. Yeah, I think you you feel like you are definitely done with this toxic story. That's what I'm getting. So it's almost like at the point where you could have been consumed with what's going on. At this point, I feel like you're just like, look, whatever it is. Yeah, it was crazy as hell, but it happened. I'm moving forward. That's it. So, okay, guys, that is what I have for you. Definitely a lot going on in this reading. Um, I feel certain that's going to resonate with somebody because it wouldn't came out. Um, so if it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you like my readings, hit the like button anyway, please. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys very soon. Good night.